everyone, it's Jamie, and welcome back to my channel. I am here today with another slightly different video. It's not a normal weekly update. It's more of a trying things that I saw people doing on Facebook type of video. So on Facebook recently, I saw people talking about making scroll frames out of PVC pipes, and I decided I would give it a shot. One of the people that I saw talking about it, and they posted pictures to show a good example of how to do it, was Kim Hollenbeck. I will link her YouTube channel here. And I have some of these PVC pieces already because I have a PVC lap stand that was made from Pam's Crafty Corner. She has a tutorial on how to make a PVC lap stand if you are interested in that, and I will have that linked here too. So the things that you are going to need, and these, are, these two pieces here are pieces that I took from my um, lap stand. And then if I like this, then I will cut new pieces that I have multiples of these. So you're going to need two shorter pieces for your sides. This is three quarter inch PVC. I don't know if you can see right there, three quarter inch PVC. And I want my side pieces to be 10 inches. So these are 10 inch pieces of PVC. And then you're going to need two long pieces. And these are the pieces that you're going to be attaching your fabric to and then actually rolling. And I decided that my fabric is 19 inches, and so I wanted 24 inch bars. So these two are 24 inches. And then you will also need four of these 90 degree elbows. And then to attach my fabric, I am using clamps. And this here is three quarter inch clamps that I bought off of Amazon. So it's a pack of 10, and so I, I think I'm going to use four of these clamps on each of these sides. So, we're going to start off. I have my fabric here. This is my fabric for Rainbow Basin. That is what I'm going to be putting on. And I have marked my fabric right there in blue. So that I know this is the point where I want to start. So that will give me a 4 inch top border and I think like a 3 inch side border. And so I want to make sure that this blue mark is not too close to the top bar. Otherwise, it will be very hard to stitch on the top part here if it's too close to the bar. So I'm going to attach the fabric to the top bar first and you want to make sure that you're attaching it evenly because if it's attached to like crooked then obviously when you attach your bottom bar your fabric is not going to roll up evenly it's going to roll up crooked so you want to try and get it as straight as possible on the top bar. So I am just totally winging it because I have never done this before so it's a learning experience for us both. I'm just going to attach these, and like I said, I'm going to do four on each side. And the last one, that one went on. I want to redo that one. Um, they're still kind of funky, but we're just going to leave it and see if it affects anything. Okay. So it's attached there, and then we're going to attach it to the bottom bar. And you want to try and attach it equally to the bottom bar. So like, you want the amount of space between the elbow and the fabric to be about the same on the top and bottom bar so that the sides will roll up and that you'll have an even tension. So I'm going to move this here and kind of line the fabric up on these sides to try and make sure that I'm getting the clamps even. So... Ah. And... Four clamps here. That was my child in the background. And... The last one. I don't know how even this is. This could be a problem. All right, so we'll see. And then we need to attach the sidebars. So I'm gonna attach them to the top first. And then I am going to roll this bottom piece up because I'm going to be starting from the top. And I think that will probably be all that I can actually do for the like rolling like that. And what I'm gonna do is attach it here. And then I am going to roll this PVC piece and this elbow piece. You can actually roll this pipe while it's in the elbow, and so that's what I'm going to do. 
So I'm going to start rolling the pipe inside of the elbow. So twist and it will roll the fabric tighter. And then I also want to roll the top bar a little. And then it is in. It looks like a scroll frame. And the fabric feels fairly tight. I have never stitched on a PVC scroll frame because like I said, this is my first time making it. So I'm excited to see how well it keeps the tension. And yeah, so I hope that this helps if anyone was wanting to make a PVC scroll frame because I did not see very many YouTube videos on how to make one or how to attach fabric. So I figured I'll give it a shot and see how it goes. So thank you everyone for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you all, I think, next week in a regular cross-stitch update video. Bye!